Hey what's up guys, I'm Sal from CrossTech and in this video I'll be showing you how to update the La One S to the latest firmware version that is available on the website. Now this is gonna work for the current update, that's the 5.5 and uh, probably for the future updates too so you can stick to the method even if you have a future update. All you need to do is start from the website, just go to the LETV forums, the website is forum.letv.com slash in for India, hit enter. Now here's the website, here are two download links where you can download the file from, one is the EUI OTA link and the other is a banner. Just click on any one, let's just click on the banner first. Here you can see it starts downloading. I'm just gonna cancel it and show you, you can also download from the EUI version. Alright, so here it is, the download from PC link and the join the discussion link. So yeah, two tabs right here, I'm just gonna click on download from PC. You can also join the discussion if you face any problems or anything like that. I've just downloaded the file so I'm gonna go to my downloads. Cut it and paste it to my desktop so everything stays clean. Now rename this file to update. Just update nothing else, don't include any .zip or anything like that. Now plug in the cable to your desktop and to the phone's Type-C connector and make sure that you have unlocked the screen. And once your screen is unlocked, just go wherever the file is, copy it, go to the phone. And guys, this is the root directory of the phone. There were people asking me, where is the root directory of the phone? This is the place where the root directory is. Just open the phone storage and the whole place you see is the root directory. Don't go inside any folder at all. Just click on paste and take out the cable. You can see it still has the older version. Now go to settings, go to system update, right here. Yep, tap on this and you can see it says the version is up to date. So all you need to do is just go to the menu right here, three, three little dots, go to local update. You can see the option right here, it says local update. You need to tap on this. Once it's done, it'll say local update found. So just click on continue and that's it. The phone has started restarting. So it'll go through a couple of things, upgrading the apps, doing stuff like that. So you can expect it to take a couple of minutes, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. It took me a little while because I have like 222 apps on my La One S right here. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's done, rebooted. I'm using a custom launcher, so that's why it looks like this. And uh, let's just go to the settings. And uh, uh, yeah, system update. And yeah, you can see it's changed. The header image that displays the version of current Android ecosystem has also changed. The current version says 5.5.008s. Now there are a couple of things that have changed in the current version. I'll do a video on that and um, there's not much changes but there's, it, it's more like a bug squashing update kind of thing. All the bugs have been patched out and uh, the clock and all that are working pretty good. And all the performance issues and all that stuff has also been ironed out. And that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching the video. If there's anything that you wanna ask or if you face any problem at all, just leave your problem or your questions in the comments section down below. And I'll make sure I answer them and rectify your problem. Thanks for watching the video guys. If this video helped you, then don't forget to like and share it with your friends, whoever has La One S. And uh, thanks for watching the video guys. Like, share, comment and subscribe as again. This is Kronostek and I'll see you in the next one.